high year eights and year nines. Um, Miranda here. Just wanted to uh, talk GCSE option choices and also give you some ideas about how to make an informed choice. So an informed choice is a choice based on having all the information or as much information as you can get that will help make sure the choice you make is as close to the best one for you as is possible. Um, there are no perfect choices in life, but there are definitely ones that maybe aren't so great. So I just wanted to give you some top tips. First off, reasons why you shouldn't be picking some GCSEs and then reasons which would be good reasons to pick some GCSEs. First, not so good reason. All my friends are taking this, or my best friends taking this, or my favourite friends are taking this. For one, they might not be in the same class as you, which um, would be pretty disappointing if that was the only reason you chose that subject. Um, and also, they're not you. And I know that's going to feel maybe a bit frustrating that you might be with people that you're not so familiar with. Um, but imagine if you miss out doing on, on doing a subject that you really are going to enjoy because your best mate wanted to do something that actually you're not that into. Um, so please don't choose subjects because your friends are taking them. Second reason not to choose a subject because your favourite teacher is teaching it. Now, even though that might sound a bit strange because obviously if you love the teacher, they may have made you love the subject and therefore you would like to study it more with them and that's completely understandable, but there's no guarantee that they'll definitely be teaching it at GCSE. Even if they're the only teacher of that subject, might, maybe they'll leave or um, for some reason they get put onto another subject, who knows? Um, but be careful about just doing a subject because you like the teacher, you also need to like the subject. Be careful about subjects that seem like they're gonna be easy. Sometimes you hear people say, oh, that's just the easy one, or that's the really hard one. What is easy for one person or hard for one person might be very different to what's easy or hard for the next. So make sure it seems the right kind of level for you. You know, is it lots of coursework and you love coursework? Or maybe it's lots of exams and you love exams? Or maybe it's the, the asking the right kind of questions that you really enjoy thinking about. Um, whatever it is, make sure it's gonna be easy enough for you but also to push you so that you're not bored over the two years of the course. Thinking that you're not going to enjoy anything else so being a bit scared about trying new subjects is also not a good idea because there might be a subject that you've not done before that actually turns out to be your favourite thing ever. So if there are new subjects offered at GCSE that you've not done in years seven and, and maybe eight if you're starting GCSEs in year nine then make sure you, you've really looked at what's on offer um, and spoken to the teachers and spoken to students who are already studying it and even if you then decide you don't want to do it that's fine but at least you've, you've actually found out whether or not it is right for you and not just been scared off by the fact that it's a new thing that you're not familiar with. So this is kind of a good and a bad thing so if your mum or your brother or your neighbour or your cousin or your best friend again um, say you're going to love this subject that might be a good indicator that you're going to love the subject, but remember that it's your choice. So if you're thinking, I don't really like that, um, but they're all going, yeah, it's going to be great, then you might need to say to them, well, actually, it's not really right for me. Um, so listen to other people's perspectives and opinions, but don't necessarily make the choice based on them. So those were some reasons that I wouldn't recommend um, having in order to make your, your choice at GCSE. So if you're now thinking, oh God, all, my, all the subjects I chose were based on those reasons, uh, maybe it's time to have another th think. So here's some good reasons um, for choosing your GCSEs. If you have read the careers information, um, options information booklet, if you've maybe spoken to a careers advisor, you've spoken to teachers, you've gone to the options open evening, um, you've spoken to students already doing the subject, if you've done all of that, then I'd say you're in a really strong position to make a good choice for you. If you've got the knowledge about the subjects that are on offer, then and you've done all those things I just said, then I think that that's a really good starting point for making some good decisions. If the subject that you're considering links well with things that you might want to do in the future, that's also a really good sign. Um, it doesn't have to, but for example, if you know that you are interested in engineering or, or science-based subjects, then 
for example, it would probably be a good idea to do triple science if that's available at your school. Um, if you know that you really love being creative and you love to draw and you love to make things, then art is probably a good subject for you to be doing. So think about the things that you love doing and whether or not there are subjects that are going to fit with those interests. Similarly, if you really love the subject, you know, I would never say give up a subject if you really love it. <laughs> um, but likewise, do be careful that it's not going to change dramatically at um, GCSE, because sometimes the things that you study in the subject prior to GCSE can actually change a little bit. Um, so be careful about making sure what the actual course content is, is going to be like. Another thing is that the assessment method suits you. I, I mentioned this in reasons not to choose, but also it's reasons to choose. So if you know, for example, that you're really bad at exams, then maybe look at subjects which have less exams and more coursework. And another couple of things to think about, if the subject matches your hobbies and also the skills that you have, so maybe you're really sporty and, and your school already offers um, doing sport during GCSE, but it actually offers a GCSE in sport as well, that's a really good idea to do that GCSE. So think about, you know, what, where are your strengths, uh, where are the things that you are um, maybe going to be a bit challenged, but it's not going to just be an uphill struggle over the next two years and try and do those subjects. And if you're someone who is maybe um, struggling a little bit and might be on a, a more limited timetable, that's fine as well. So it might be that you don't actually get to choose many or any GCSEs. Um, and if that's the case, then just make sure you put as much effort as possible into the subjects that you are doing even if you don't love them, it is only two years um, and it is as, so important to try and get as much as you can out of the GCSE period because it does, it does set you up, you know. Um, it means you can go on to do A-levels, uh, BTEC, or go to university or if you're looking for a job in the future, most jobs at the very least would expect you to have maths and English GCSE. Yes, it's possible to, to work and do very well in life without your GCSEs, but it makes it a lot easier if you've got them. So work hard, choose wisely and most of all have fun.